Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory to your name, God. Oh, we thank you tonight. Hallelujah. Just want to share in a few groups on tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. We have shared. Glory to God. And so we bless him tonight. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Amen. Those of you on the prayer line, hallelujah, the worship is high. Amen. We're praising God. We're worshiping him. Hallelujah. Some, amen, are still trying to figure out, <laughs> amen, if they're going to praise and worship God. Hallelujah. But that's all right. Amen. Those of you that are praising him, those of you that are blessing him, those of you that are worshiping him, you're giving God the fruit of your lips. Don't stop. Amen. Don't stop. The Lord says there's healing in your worship on tonight. Glory to God. There's healing in your worship on tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody bless him. Somebody glorify him. Somebody honor him on tonight. Amen. Greetings to you all on tonight. Thank you for the greetings tonight. Amen. On uh, Facebook and Instagram. Hallelujah. And then as the worship was going up on tonight on our prayer line, I heard the spirit of the Lord say for me to tell some of you tonight, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. I heard it so clear. I heard it so clear. It is not your fault. It's not your fault. I said, okay, God, what does that mean? Because I asked the Lord as he, as he gave it to me, I said, God, what, what does that mean? He said, there are many, amen, who just don't know. And then he took me to the Lord's prayer. He took me to the word of God, amen. He took me to the foundation. And the truth of the matter is some of us just don't know. You know, if we've never been taught something, then we just don't know. Amen. But God is a teacher. Hallelujah. He's an awesome teacher. Glory to God. He's a teacher. Amen. Who can teach you his word to the point to where you'll, you'll be able to receive it and you'll be able to understand it. God bless you all tonight. Um, thank you for the greetings. God bless you. Take the time to share if you will. Um, some of you may have seen the caption tonight. Amen. You may have seen, you know, what is written on tonight, but we're going to flow and we're going to lay the foundation. Is that all right? Glory to God. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Is that all right? If we flow tonight, glory to God as the spirit of the Lord will give utterance as the spirit of the Lord. Amen. will speak and minister to his people on tonight. Glory to God. Amen. Because I'm in such a place where when God speaks to me, I'm obedient and I release what he says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're in the last and evil days, people of God. And we don't have time to be making up stuff. We don't have time as prophets to be making up words. And, oh, I think God is saying this. I think God is saying that. The truth of the matter is many need to repent. Many need to repent. Many need to get back to a place of repentance. And I'm speaking to some on Facebook on tonight. Many, I said many need to get back to a place of repentance. Hallelujah. A place of repentance. True repentance. Glory to God. True confession of sin. Asking God to forgive you for that sin. Hallelujah. Yes, he's faithful and just to forgive us. But if we don't never repent, then how can he forgive us? Amen. Come on. If he says to for us, he asks us to, to repent. If the Bible says repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, that's word. Amen. That's the word of God. Hallelujah. That's the word. And God says we are to come to him and do what? Repent. Lord, I'm sorry for God. Forgive me for God. I've sinned against you and you alone. Hallelujah. Amen. David said that in the book of Psalms, Psalm 51. You know, he said, God, forgive me. Hallelujah. Forgive me for I've sinned against you and you alone. Glory to God. We're in a time now where people don't care about anything. Amen. We're in a time now where people, you know, they can hurt you. They can say things to you and they don't care. They just don't care anymore. You know, we're in that time right now. Amen. There's no more compassion. Amen. When Jesus is full of compassion. Hallelujah. There's no more love. Amen. When Jesus is full of love, glory to God. Come on. Hallelujah. Many people need God. And the truth of the matter is they just don't want him. Can we just be real tonight? There are many who want the benefits of God, but they really don't want him. 
Amen. But those of us who want God, amen, we want more of him. We want more of his spirit. We want more of his word. Hallelujah. We want to bask in his glory and stay in his presence. Do I have anybody like that on tonight? I know I'm talking to a small group of people, but it's okay. Hallelujah. It's all right. Glory to God. It's okay. Hallelujah, because the Bible says the only the righteous are going to scarcely make it in. Everybody's not going to make it into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Many people are going to be left behind. Glory to God. Many people, yes, they're going to be left behind. Hallelujah. There are two things, amen, that are going to be said from, from there. There are two things that God is going to say. One, you're either going to hear, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I don't know who you are. I never knew you. You prophesied in my name. You cast out devils in my name. But I don't even know who you are. That's one. Then the second thing that many are going to hear, some of you may hear, is well done. My good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over a few things. Now I'm going to make you ruler over many. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Hallelujah. So my question tonight is what do you desire to hear? What do you desire to hear God say to you? Oh, it's serious tonight. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm looking here at Instagram and I'm looking here at Facebook, but what do you want God to say to you? Do, do you think about that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do, does it cross your mind? Glory to God that if you were to take your last breath tonight, hallelujah, what would God say to you? Come on. God bless you all tonight. Thank you for the greetings. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. If I did not call your name, I do apologize to our members and covenant partners. Welcome back to the ministry. Hallelujah. We thank God for the ministry on tonight. I am Pastor Prophetess Carmen Haywood. Amen. The overseer. Amen. The apostle. Glory to God. A prophetic impact prayer and word ministry. I'm grateful. Hallelujah. I'm grateful to God on tonight. I'm grateful to God for the press. Amen. I know it's a holiday. Some of you probably still celebrating, still barbecuing, still partying. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you, Apostle and Charles, my brother in South Carolina. God bless you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What do you desire to hear God say? Do you want him to say, well done? Or do you want him to say, depart from me? Come on. Do, do, do you want to hear well done? Because if you want to hear well done, that means you put in the work. Come on, hallelujah. That, that means you lived a life that was pleasing to God. Ah, shut up. Hallelujah, not to man. Come on, think about that for a minute. Not a life that's pleasing unto man, but a, a life that's pleasing unto God. Come on. Yeah. Sister Cece says, I want to hear well done. Yes, yes. So if you want to hear well done, you have to live the life. Come on. You have to live the life. Ah, glory. So you don't hear this much in church anymore. Because, you know, the church now is saying that you can do whatever you want to do. You know, come as you are. Yes, you come as you are, but you don't stay that way. Come on. The word of God is designed to change you. Come on. The power of the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Ah, glory. So that you can walk in power and in dominion. Come on. Some of you know this and some of you may not know it. Amen. But God said for me to tell you, amen, as, as the worship was going forth on our prayer line, the Lord said, release this word. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Hallelujah. And God says, many of you just don't know. Hallelujah. And when you don't know something, you, you can't walk in something that you don't know. That's just like if you get hired on a new job and, you know, they put you in front of the desk and they tell you, this is what we want you to do, but they don't train you. They don't teach you. They don't show you how to work the computer. You may be used to a desktop, but, you know, the computer that they gave you was a high tech computer. So you may not know. It's a little savvy. You know, it's a little different than what you're used to. Right. And, and so what happens, glory to God, that's just like God. Hallelujah. When you come to the Lord, some things you just don't know. Glory to God. But that doesn't mean that you shut him out. Amen. That that doesn't mean that you say, OK, I'm not willing to learn. Glory to God. I released it on our prayer line tonight. Amen. As the intercessors were praying, they did such a beautiful job in prayer. Glory to God. One thing I was taught. Amen. In the beginning of my ministry was prayer. 
Hallelujah. God taught me how to pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so one of my assignments in the earth realm is to teach others how to pray. Amen. I know my assignment. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. I know who I'm called to. I know what I'm called to. Glory to God. And it's very effective. Amen. Hallelujah. But God has taught me how to pray in the spirit. So my assignment is to teach others how to pray. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And, and also to pray to get results. Ah, shut up. Hallelujah. Because a lot of times we pray and there's no results. We're just going to be truthful tonight. Can we just flow? Can we just flow in the spirit tonight? Is that all right? Can, can we just flow real quick in the spirit? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We say amen to the prayers that have been rendered to the father's ears. Amen. We believe in God for change in our families. Amen. The families that are connected to our ministry. We believe in God to come on in. Hallelujah. And unite families again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, there's division in the land. Yes, there's division amongst God's people and even amongst the world. But how many of you know God is able? Hallelujah. Sister Christina says the prayer was awesome. It felt like a major weight was lifted. See what I'm talking about? See exactly what I'm talking about. There are souls in the balance. Hallelujah. And anytime we're doing ministry, can I help somebody tonight? Because everybody's doing ministry, but are you doing the will of God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many are doing ministry, but are we really following the blueprint of the Lord? Hallelujah. God bless you, Apostle Paul, on Instagram tonight. Amen. Many are rising up and doing ministry and they're saying, oh, I'm doing the will of God. I'm doing what God told me to do. Uh, you know, God told me to do this. God told me to do that. And some are looking so foolish and you can't tell me that God is giving you a message to preach and Jesus is nowhere in it. It's just prosperity. Well, you keep your prosperity gospel because I don't want it. Because it's not the truth anyway. <laughs> Come on here. Hallelujah. Many are making promises to people and telling them they're going to be so wealthy. They're going to be so rich. And, you know, you're going to have a house and a car. Well, the truth of the matter is if you don't pay your bills, you're not going to have anything. If you're not faithful over the little, then how can he make you ruler? Help me, Holy Ghost, tonight. How can God make you ruler over much? We have to get back to foundation and we have to get back to the word of God. Hallelujah. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here as God's prophet to tell you what he requires for us to do. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. This is why I tell people don't take it personal. Ministry is never taken personal anyway. And if you feel like you're taking it personal or you're offended, then something is wrong with your spirit. Ah, shut up. Because the leaders that taught me, they didn't care about my feelings. They gave me Bible. They, they didn't care about, you know, if, if I needed a tissue to wipe my face after I had a meeting in the office. They, they, they didn't care about that. Ha, huh? hallelujah. Because my soul was in the balance. Hey, glory to God. And so they didn't care if they hurt my feelings. It was tough love. Woo, speak Holy Ghost. And some of you need that. You need tough love. You need somebody to tell you when you're wrong. And then you need somebody to tell you when you're right. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when, when your leader tells you you're right, that's that push for you to keep going. But then when your leader tells you, wait a minute, stop right there. Hold up. Let me help you. That's for you to get out the car and say, okay, leader, you can go ahead and drive. Drive the car. And as you're driving, I'm going to watch you drive. Woo! <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A lot of times we need somebody in front of us. Come on. We're going to tell the truth and shame the devil. We're going to tell the truth and shame the devil now. For those of you that feel like you don't need nobody, this message is not for you. For, for those of you that know everything, this message is not for you. We're going to get to the wheat and the tear in a minute. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But God is requiring many of you to learn accountability. Hey, glory to God. That's a word many don't talk about. Hallelujah. Who are you accountable to? You're accountable to God first and then leadership. Come on. You're accountable to God first and then leadership. Ha, huh, glory to God. I'm going to say it one more time for the Holy Ghost. You are, you are responsible and accountable to God first and then leadership. If you don't have a leader, then you're going every which way. 
You're like that ship without a sail. <laughs> Come on. Hallelujah. You're tossed to and fro. Higher. Glory to God. And this is why the enemy is able to mess with many of you. He messing with your mind. He all in your thoughts. You don't know if you're coming or going. You can't make sound decisions. Who am I helping tonight? Oh, but after tonight, you're going to make some sound decisions. Glory to God, because you're going to repent and you're going to put God first. Is that all right? Is that all right? Can we just repent tonight for what we have done? Can, can we take the time to repent? Can, can we take the time to say, Lord, I'm sorry for my error? Come on. Can, can we do that tonight? Somebody may say, I, I don't need to repent for anything. Yes, you do. Yes, we do. Come on, because we have to keep the slate clean. Hallelujah. Because guess what? The Bible says that Jesus is coming like a thief in the night. <laughs> oh, he's coming quickly. Ah, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Sister Hattie. You all right. Glory to God. Listen, hallelujah. The thief. Hi, ah, did your shot. Mm. Hallelujah. Hey, listen, let, let me just say this. Let me say this. Jesus is coming quickly. He's coming quickly. And, and you know what? He's coming with his reward in his hand. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Let's talk about that real quick. I told y'all we're going to lay the foundation and we're going to talk about the wheat and the tear, right? So if, if Jesus is coming with his reward in his hand, anybody read the Bible? Y'all read the word? Y'all want me to get to the scripture? Y'all want me to give it to y'all? I, I could give it to you real quick. Let, let me give you the word real quick. For those of you that may not believe, let, let me let me give you this real quick, real quick. Glory to God. Let, let me give it to you real quick. Hallelujah. I love this song. Amen. It's playing in the background. We're going to listen to that for a minute. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Let, let me give you this real quick for those that may not believe. Amen. I want, I want to give this to you real quick, real quick, real quick. Just real quick. All right. Revelation 22 and 12. Okay. Revelation 22 and 12. God bless you, Minister Yvette, tonight. Blessings to you, Sister Maisha. God bless you, Sister Chandra. Thank you for sharing. Amen. Every time you come on, you share with about 10 to 12 people. I see you. I see you. May the Lord continue to bless you, Chandra Roundtree. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 22. Amen. She's not even a member of mine, but she shares. Isn't that amazing? Glory to God. She, she's not even a member. She, I, this woman of God is not even a member, but she gets on the live and she shares. Isn't that something? Isn't that something, Apostle Paul? So, so what that tells me, let's read Revelation in a minute. What that tells me, Apostle Paul, and those of you that are pastors and leaders and apostles, what, what that's telling me in the spirit is that God is raising up people that you don't even know of. Hallelujah, that are going to help you in your ministry. Ah, because they see the fruit on your life. They see the anointing. Mm, glory to God. Hallelujah. They, they know that God is here. Woo, higher. Hallelujah. And they haven't even been here long. Is, isn't that amazing? Woo, hallelujah. So leaders, don't worry. God got you. Hallelujah. God got you. He's going to send what you need. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. He's going to send what you need now. Hallelujah. He's going to send. Yes, Lord, I hear you. He's going to send those who are hungry. Woo, higher did the old shot. He, he's going to send those who are hungry for his word. Amen. As you teach Bible study, Amen. Apostle Paul, what I hear the Lord saying, as you teach your Bible study, man of God, amen, he's going to send different people. Hallelujah. When you used to teach Bible study, yes, Lord, I hear you. Amen. When you used to teach Bible study and teach the word of God, you didn't have many people on your broadcast. But Apostle Paul, I hear the spirit of the Lord saying, when you do it this time, mm, hallelujah, he's going to send different people to hear the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. He's going to send different people. I hear it so clear. Hallelujah. And I want to encourage the leaders and the pastors right here. God is getting ready to send different people, those who were under your anointing and that were under your ministry, that took you for granted, man of God. Mm, yes, Lord, I hear you. Mm. I, I want to speak this over the pastors and leaders. They may have took you for granted, but because you didn't give up, hallelujah, but because you didn't throw in the towel, because you said, you know what? I'm going to keep on going for God because it's not about me anyway. Woo, 
Hallelujah. He's about to send help, apostle, and he's about to send those that are ready to, to feast at the master's table. He's about to send those, hallelujah, that want to eat. He's about to send those who are thirsty. Mm. Glory to God. God is about to, yes, Lord, I hear you. We're going to stay right here. He's about to send those who are ready and who are hungry. Hallelujah. Nita says, destiny helpers. I take that. Glory. Hallelujah. Because the mission and the assignment and the ministry must continue. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 The man of God says he's mindful of us. God is so mindful of us. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. He'll answer your prayer. Hallelujah. Through a vessel that you never thought he would speak through. Glory to God. He will answer your prayer. Hallelujah. He will bless you. Woo. Glory to God. Can I just prophesy into your life, Apostle Paul? Can I just prophesy over the leaders right here? Two months ago. Mm. Glory to God. I'm going to prophesy something heavy. Hallelujah. So put your seatbelt on real quick. Glory to God. Amen. There was a woman of God from California. Listen to this. Hallelujah. There was a woman of God from California. She had been watching my broadcast secretly. Hadn't commented much, but she was sharing the broadcast. Hallelujah. And how do I know? Because when this woman of God sold a thousand dollar seed into my ministry, listen to this. I want to help somebody right here. Oh, God getting ready to encourage some leaders tonight. He's getting ready to encourage some pastors tonight. Hallelujah. He's getting ready to encourage his body tonight. Mm. So put your seatbelt on real quick. Hallelujah. Because God is about to bless somebody. Hallelujah. He's about to bless you and speak right to your spirit. This woman of God sold a thousand dollar seed into our ministry. First of all, I prayed the day before. Amen. The rent was due on our church and we needed a thousand dollars. Listen to this. Our rent is over a thousand. Amen. It's almost 2000 to be honest. Can I just put it out there? It is. Amen. Our rent is almost 2000. Yeah. Glory to God. And so we were a thousand dollars short. This was a few months ago. And I said, God, I'm tired of paying the rent on the church. That's what I told the Lord. That's what I said to God. I said, God, I'm tired of taking the rest of the responsibility. Oh, pastors do that now. Did you know the pastor pays the rent on the church? Did y'all know that? I'm just saying. Somebody said, wait a minute. I, I didn't come on this broadcast for this. No, stay right here. Stay right here. Stay right here. Just st stay with me. Stay with me. I'm, I'm, about, to, I'm about to tell you something. Uh, are we about to go there. Yeah, because it's going to help you. Hallelujah. It's going to help you. This is why some pastors say, I'm going to stay online and I ain't going to get a building. That's what they're doing now. You know, you got some pastors say, I can't afford the building because the people are not tithing and giving their offering. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Somebody say, oh, that's where my tithe is going? Yes. That's where my offering is going? Yes. Amen. Let me bless some leaders right here. Mm-hmm. So... This woman of God, she answered my prayer, amen, for our ministry, hallelujah. And so I had to go and, amen, when it came through on PayPal, I said, wait a minute. I said, wait a minute. I was like, who is this woman? Never never seen her name, nothing, nothing. And apostle says, talk bold. Yeah, it's the truth. Oh, some people need to know. So, so, so you can stop saying that the pastor's robbing the church. Can, can you stop saying that? Hallelujah. Can, can some of you... Oh, I'm getting in trouble tonight. You might not even be one of my members. You're just on here tonight. Can, can y'all stop saying that the pastors are robbing the church? Can y'all stop saying that? Because some of y'all saying that. The pastor's not robbing the church. Nine times out of ten. <laughs> amen. When, when the bills are not paid, the pastor goes out of their personal account and pays the bills to keep the church up and running so that you can have a place for worship. <laughs> I'm trying to say it as nice as I can. See, I told y'all I'm the pastor that's going to say what most won't. I'm not ashamed anymore. <laughs> Hallelujah. But because listen, I, this is our fourth church building. I'm just saying we had three in Philadelphia and you know, this is our first in, in Raleigh. Amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But God, some way, somehow, always takes care of us. Amen. I'm testifying because this woman of God, um, she's in California. Amen. And she sold an abundant seed in our ministry. And that night on the broadcast, listen to this. I didn't even give a seed amount. The Lord didn't give me a seed amount for the people to sow. The Lord just said, you know, post the ways that the people can sow if they desire to. I did what God told me to do. I was obedient. And this woman of God in the middle of the night, because I didn't get the, me the memo or the message until the morning. 
Amen. And so I thank God because when I had gotten up, amen, and I began to check my emails and things like that, started getting situated with my day, I saw the seed that had came through. And so I looked at the woman of God's name and I said, this name doesn't look familiar. Mm. Hallelujah. I said, this is somebody that I don't even know. Woo, hallelujah. Somebody shout, God's getting ready to raise up somebody to bless me. Hallelujah. This is for somebody tonight, but you got to speak it out of your mouth. God is getting ready to raise up somebody to bless you, to fund the vision that God has given you. It may not be a ministry. It just may be a business. Ha, ah, glory. Hallelujah. But it's still for the kingdom. Mm. Somebody shout, I receive that. I receive that. If that's for you, shout, I receive that. Come on, if that's for you, shout, I receive that. Because God's going to give you exactly what you speak in this season. Woo! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this young lady, amen, I went on social media and I typed her name in. I said, wait a minute, I got to know who this woman of God is. And I looked, Sister Kiana, I looked and I saw she was in California. The, the city that she lived in, I never heard of. And so I inboxed the woman of God. I said, thank you. In bold letters, thank you for sowing that abundant seed into our ministry. And her response was, no, thank you. Whoo, shut up. Mm. She said, for the last three months, I've been listening to you. She said, and every word that you spoke on your live broadcast is exactly what I needed. Ah, hallelujah. She said, not only did it minister to my spirit, but it healed my so glory, hallelujah. So I want to prophesy over every pastor, every leader, continue in ministry. You have no idea the souls that are being impacted, hallelujah, by the word that is in your belly. Glory to God. Don't worry about those that's not sowing. Don't worry about those that's eating and running. Ha, ah, glory. Don't worry about those, hallelujah. That have no desire to bless you as you're blessing them. Because God, mm, he will raise up somebody. Hallelujah. He will raise somebody up to bless you. Woo! Glory to God. But you got to continue. You got to keep on going. Hallelujah. You got to keep on pressing. Ah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I'm here just for some leaders tonight, just to minister to you for the next two minutes. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Mm. Hallelujah. I told God when I leave this earth, I got to leave empty now. Hey, hallelujah. I told him I don't want to leave on full. Ha, ah, glory. Hallelujah. So by me telling God that he continues to fill my belly up. Higher did he osha for his people as God has shifted this ministry. He continues to fill my belly up. So I make no apologies. I know some of you are here. Hallelujah, because you really want to hear what God has to say about the wheat and the tear. But there are times that God will insert something for his leaders. There are times that God will insert a word. Hallelujah, just for his chosen. There are times, glory to God, because I don't know who's on this broadcast, but the Lord knows. I don't know who you are, but he knows you. Glory to God. I don't know your struggle. Hallelujah. I don't know your prayer requests. Hallelujah. But God knows. He knows those petitions, Apostle Paul. He knows those lonely nights and those tears that you had to cry. Hallelujah. God knows all about it. Mm. So he will come with a right now word to encourage your heart to keep on going. God has done it for me many times. Let's read Revelation 22 and 12. Let's read Revelation 22 and 12. Hallelujah. Let's read Revelation 22 and 12. I'm going to read the NIV version. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Let's read the King James. Let's read the King James. It says, and behold, I come quickly. This is Jesus speaking here. He says, and my reward is with me mm, to give every man according to his work that he has done. Did you all hear that? Did, did you hear that? Did you hear that? So, so when he comes, daughter Shanique, I see you hitting those hearts. He's coming with his reward. So for those who try to repent when he appears, hey, it's going to be too late. Because he's coming with his reward. And you know what God showed me in the spirit? I had a vision of this. It was like the father was, was creating. The father, it was in heaven. And he was preparing the rewards. Listen to this. He knew he was about to send his son, Jesus, down to the earth. Ha, ah, glory. Hallelujah for his coming, for his return. And this is what I saw. I saw in the spirit 
the father, he was preparing the rewards of his people. Some were good and some were bad. But he was preparing them. This was an open vision evangelist Arlene that God gave me years ago. Years ago. Hallelujah. And then the Lord took me to the scripture that I just read you all. And God told me, he said, my son Jesus is coming back. And he's coming back with his reward in his hand. I said, my God, my God. That's right, Keisha. Hallelujah. That's what I said. My God, my God. I said, Lord, do the people know? I said, does your church know? I said, does the body of Christ know? Ah, glory. See, we get so caught up with other things, but we don't know he's coming back with his reward. Your reward. <laughs> Hallelujah. Your reward is going to be with him when he comes. Oh, that's some deep revelation right there. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody shout hallelujah. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Hallelujah. Because my prayer always is, Lord, I got to be right in your presence. Hallelujah. Not in front of your people. Hallelujah. But even behind closed doors. Y'all not talking back to me. Hallelujah. And see, woman of God, Shamika, it, I wasn't always like this, though. Listen, I, it took a long time for me to get to this place of righteousness and holiness. Let me just be transparent here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wake up every morning with a praise on my lips. But how many of you know, hallelujah, if you found me about 15, maybe 20 years ago, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. Come on. I had the hellhounds on my heels, literally, because God was making me. Woo! Hallelujah. Did you hear me in the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. I had the hellhounds on my heels because God was making me. See, when God is making you, it's not going to be easy. That's somebody's answer right there. Oh, that's why I'm going through, prophetess? I'm going through because God is making me? Wait a minute. You, you mean to tell me my, my friends are now my enemies because God is making me? Wait a minute. Those who, who started out with me are no longer there? Wait a minute, God. Are you trying to tell me something? Woo! Hallelujah. Wait, wait, wait a minute, God. Are you trying to reveal to me something that you're calling me higher? Woo! Hallelujah. So, so you want me to cut off those things that are dead? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, God. Now, now this is not too fair. But wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait. <laughs> and the more you say, God, wait a minute. He said, no, I don't have time to wait. Hallelujah. He, he says, I, I don't have time to hire the deal And that's just like people. That's just like his children. We'll say, wait, God, wait, wait God. Can you wait a minute? Can you wait a minute? Let, let me do this first. And, and then I'm going to do that. I'm on somebody's street right here. God, if you fix this first. Then I'm going to do, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll answer the call. You know, if you give me enough money, I'll start the ministry. But well, well, let me help you out right here. Sometimes you got to start a ministry just by faith. Hallelujah. He's going to send what you need. This is for a leader right here. He's going to send what you need. He just wants to know if you're going to walk by faith and not by sight. Ah, glory. Because see, it's not faith if you have everything in front of you. Woo, glory. See, see, it's not faith if you have everything in front of you. Some things you got to pray for. Some things you got to fast for. <laughs> some things you got to labor for. Mm, all right. Okay. Okay. Somebody shout, Lord, teach me your ways. Hallelujah. That needs to be somebody prayer. Lord, teach me your ways. Teach me your ways, God. Help me to learn you. Help me to learn your word. Hallelujah. Because I really don't know. Glory to God. God, help me. Help me. Help me, help me, help me in this thing called ministry. That needs to be somebody's prayer. Yes, he called you, but you, 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 you got to know what exactly he called you to do. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and he gave some apostles. He gave some prophets. He gave some evangelists. He gave some teachers. Hallelujah. He come on for the work of ministry. Come on for the perfection of the, of the kingdom. Hallelujah. He gave some, not all. So what did he call you to do? Come on. Hallelujah. What has God really called you to do? L let's get to the word tonight. Amen. I want to get right to it. I know the time has been well spent. Amen. We had a nice little lesson. Amen. A, a prayer lesson on our prayer call. Amen. Before we logged on to social media. Amen. And I know it blessed a few people on tonight. So we thank God. Amen. And we thank God for the release. 
hallelujah, on our prayer line before we came on social media. Amen. Hallelujah. For those who were weighed down, amen, God lifted the heavy burdens. Amen. That's why we pray. Hallelujah. So that when the word comes forth, it's easy to be received. Glory to God. That's why we pray. Hallelujah. So that, amen, the, the hearts that are coming heavy, you know, those that are weighed down and burdened down. Hallelujah. This is why we pray. Glory to God. So that you can receive what thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. This is why we pray. Glory to God. Somebody shout, Lord, teach me how to pray. Glory to God. Somebody shout, Lord, teach me how to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And we thank God. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. Amen. God bless you all. Those of you that have greeted me tonight, God bless each and every one of you. Glory to God. Amen. God is sending some new souls. I just heard that in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. He's sending new souls. He's sending those who are hungry, those who are, are thirsty. Hallelujah. God is sending new souls. So we thank him in advance. Amen. For the new souls that he's sending to. Amen. Our online ministry as well as our building. Amen. Here in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hallelujah. God says a promise is still a promise. Amen. He's about to fill up the temple. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He, he's about to fill up the temple. Amen. He's about to fill every seat. Hallelujah. God, amen, is doing something strategic. Amen. And he has you in mind. People of God, he has you in mind. Somebody hear the Lord tonight. Amen. Matthew chapter 13. Amen. Verse 24. We're going to read 24 through 30. Amen. That's right. Lord, teach me how to pray. Hallelujah. God's going to shift some of your prayer. Amen. Some of you, he's going to shift your prayer. Amen. God is going to shift your prayer. Hallelujah. Let him do it. Let him do it. Let him do it. Hallelujah. Let God do it. I want to say this as I hear it. The Lord says many of you got to get back to prayer. And this is for the leaders. You got to get back to prayer because that's the foundation of ministry. See, see, this has been left out. Amen. If you don't have a prayer life, you don't have a ministry. Come on. I don't care how much you prophesy. Because then you can cross over and be a psychic. Come on. It doesn't matter how much you use your gift. The Bible says gifts and callings are without repentance. But if God is not in the midst of it or in the beginning of your ministry, which is prayer... Amen. You have to be very careful. Glory to God, because you allow people to use your gift and then you want to fast train to hell. Did I just say that? I'm sorry. Come on. You, you'll be a soothsayer. You, you'll be a, a, what is it, divination worker and all that foolishness. You, you'll cross over real easy. There's a thin line between the prophetic and divination. Why are we going here tonight? That's why you got to be careful. Amen. And as God's prophets, don't let nobody manipulate you. Don't let nobody uh, use your gift. Hallelujah. Don't let nobody uh, try to, to, to corner you and have you just to prophesy all your life. Because there's more to you than just prophecy. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on, prophets. There's more to you than just prophecy. Come on. Hallelujah. God is calling us to win souls. Hallelujah. did your shot. Hallelujah. I'm a prophet before anything, but guess what? He's called me to win souls also. Amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We have, Listen, listen, we got to get back to soul winning. We got to get back to telling people about Jesus. Hallelujah. We got to be that witness in this dark world. Glory to God. I saw a, a Facebook live today. A young lady there in Philadelphia, my hometown, Amen. They said a young man got shot. And I'm just inserting this because somebody needs to hear this. A young man got shot, I believe, at 22nd and Lehigh. I know it was 22nd Street. And they said that he got shot so, multiple times in, in broad daylight. And she did a Facebook Live right after it, after the police came. Listen to this. She said nobody stopped. She said nobody wanted to help this young man. And he was dying on the side of the road. In the, in the middle of the street. Amen. This was in my hometown in Philadelphia. You know, and, and I'm sharing this because this these are the times we're in. Cold-hearted people. You know, but the Bible says that the love of many is going to wax cold. Amen. So the Bible is fulfilling itself. This is why you got to read your word. This is why you need, Listen, if you're not going to read your word, you need a pastor. Amen. That's going to teach you the word of God. That's going to feed you the word. 
Amen. And that's going to compel you to open your Bible and read it. Come on. You have to know what's taking place in the earth realm. Not just go to church. It's quiet. It's quiet. It is quiet. It is quiet. It is quiet. It's real quiet. Lord, teach me your ways. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord, teach us your ways. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord, teach us your ways. Mm-hmm. Humble us. Hayabashe. To where we can pray again. Woo. Glory to God. Hallelujah. According to 2 Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people. I'm going to say it again. I said it on the prayer line. But I hear God. Mm. If my people. If my people. Says the Lord. Hey. Shata. Glory, glory, glory. He says. If my people. Who are called by my name. Shall humble themselves. Don't nobody want to pray no more. Amen. That's why I thank God for our ministry. Amen. It's some willing prayer warriors. Hallelujah. It's some, it's some willing intercessors. Come on. Hallelujah. If I got to keep on asking, I'm going to keep on asking. But guess what? After a while, God ain't going to keep asking you to pray. With your called and anointed self. It's a calling on my life. But you don't even pray. Huh? It's a word in my belly. God gave me a word for his people, but you don't even pray. Hmm. Why God got to keep asking us to do things? Huh? Let's just stay right here for a minute. You know. But why does God have to keep keep on asking you to do things? You know, like why, why does he have to keep asking? He's so merciful. And we continue to just slap him in the face. We continue to do things our way. Why is that? Why is that? <laughs> Can somebody help me? <laughs> But why is that? <laughs> well, I don't pray like so-and-so. You're not supposed to. Ah, glory to God. Mm. Let, let me say that in, in the Holy Ghost again. I don't preach like so-and-so. You're not supposed to. Woo. Come on. He made you unique. Hallelujah. Francis says, will you be my pastor? <laughs> Listen, please inbox me. Amen. Please inbox me. Amen. Hallelujah. Please inbox me. Glory to God. See, see, that's confirmation right there. The Lord said he's sending those who are hungry. I know the view is going to drop because people don't like truth. People don't like truth. People don't like truth. But those that's been sitting with their hands folded like this, uh, I'll sing a song when I feel like it. I'll pray when I feel like it. You know what? <sighs> All right. I'll offer to do this when I feel like it. Matter of fact, when I, you know. <laughs> and this soul's dying. There's people dying in our families and in our communities. And we're thinking about if we're going to answer God. <laughs> we're, we're, we're thinking about if we're going to give him another yes. Ah, glory. Hallelujah. Our mindset is on the wrong thing. Come on. We got to get back to foundation again. We have to get back to the word again. Come on. Come on. But we have to get back to it. Glory to God. Because that's what's going to keep us. Hallelujah. The Bible says everything else is going to fade away. But the word is what's going to stand. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful and so glad about it. L let us turn to Matthew chapter 13. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Is it Alicia? God bless you on tonight. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for joining each and every one of you. If I did not greet you, I'm so sorry if I did not say your name. Amen. And if you have greeted me, God bless you on tonight. 
Amen. If you're here and you didn't greet me, that's all right, too. You can stay here. <laughs> Amen. We thank God for you anyhow. We thank God for every person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we were in church right now, I would tell you to turn to your neighbor and say, God has need of you. <laughs> but I want you to hashtag it tonight. Is that all right? God has need of you. Hallelujah. God has need of you. Yes, he has need of you. Hallelujah. Can, can you imagine leaving this earth and you have not fulfilled your kingdom assignment? I want you to think about that for 30 seconds. Can, can you imagine you take your last breath, you're no longer here, huh? And you have not done what God told you to do? Hmm. I'm not trying to scare you. Not at all. God doesn't put fear in us. Hallelujah. There's no fear in God. Hallelujah. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. But could you imagine if you were to leave here and you have not completed your kingdom assignment? Just think about that. Ten more seconds. Just think about it. Just think about it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Just, just think about it just for a minute. Well, Pastor, I don't have nobody to show me. Ask the Lord to send somebody in your life. Well, Pastor, the church I belong to, they don't acknowledge my gift. Set up a meeting with your pastor. Uh-huh. It's just that easy. It's just that simple. Glory to God. We can't keep making excuses because people are dying. People are dying naturally and spiritually. Yeah. People are dying naturally and spiritually. Ah, glory. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying the spirit that is inside our churches and in our ministries that is killing our ministries is the spirit of pride. I just heard that. Mm. Woo, shut up. My, my, my. Don't let pride be found in you. Mm. All right. <laughs> this is where people exit. They say, wait a minute. I, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. See, they just exited on Instagram. We just hit something in the Holy Ghost. I heard it loud and clear. The spirit of pride is what's causing many to fall. It's causing many to be prideful, you know, to feel like, oh, it's all about me. It's not about you. Come on here. Hallelujah. It's all about Jesus. Can, all, can you hashtag that tonight? It's all about the Lord. But see, where people get messed up and mixed up is they don't want to follow leadership. That they don't want anybody to help them. Come on. That's a downfall for many people. And you know where it starts? It starts with your childhood. Nobody taught you. Nobody showed you that this is, this is what you have to do to be able to succeed. And that's in the natural. That's not even in the spirit. So because many of you have not had anybody to hold your hand to tell you this is, this is the way you go. This is what you do. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. But because many have not had that, that they feel like now that they're in the church or now they're in the body of Christ, that, that I don't I don't need anybody. You know? And that's the spirit of pride. Amen. Come on. <laughs> Somebody shout, Lord, teach me your ways. Glory to God. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Somebody shout, Lord, teach me your ways. Hallelujah. There's a great separation that is taking place. Amen. This is, there's a great separation that is taking place. Listen to this. This is what God gave me. Matthew chapter 14. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And God is doing the separating. Amen. It's not something that man is doing. This is something that God is doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 13, um, 24 through 30. Whew, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I ministered this word last year and God brought it back around again. The Lord brought it back to our ministry again. So I'm going to share it with you all. Amen. There's a great weeding out. Amen. There's a great weeding out. Somebody shout, Lord, don't forget me. Somebody shout, Lord, don't forget me. Somebody needs to say that tonight. Lord, don't forget me. Mm -hmm. Don't forget me, Lord. Amen. Alicia says, I thank God for my apostle and my co-pastor. See that? 
she can give honor to her leaders. See, see, see that? See, when you can give honor to your leader, you are in a place of submission. Hallelujah. And most, most of the time when you're in a place of submission in your ministry, you're blessed. You don't want for anything. Glory to God, because you're obeying God and then you're obeying your leadership. Amen. Thank you for posting that, woman of God. Amen. I don't know who your apostle and your co-pastor is, but I honor them on tonight and I thank God for you. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 13, uh, 24 through 30. Amen. Y'all have it. God bless you, Sister Johanna, tonight. I figured you was going to be coming on. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. And as you're typing, Lord, don't forget me. I want you to say it out of your mouth. All right. As, as you're typing, I want you to say, Lord, don't forget me. Remember me, Lord. Don't forget me. Hallelujah. Remember me, Lord. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. All right. Let's read the word of God. 24 through 30 and it reads and this is jesus speaking here another parable put he forth unto them saying jesus said the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field verse 25 but while men had slept his army i'm sorry his enemy had came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way verse 26 and when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then came the tares also. So let's stop right there because we're not going to go too fast, okay? Let, let's stop right there. She says, I'm in Matthew now. Yeah, God is going to bring confirmation, woman of God. Let, let's stop right there. Let's go back a couple verses. So what? The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man that sowed good seed in his field. All right? That's, that's many of you tonight. Sow good seed in your field. Verse 25. And while the men had slept, his enemy came. So the enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and then went his way. All right. Let me give you some revelation here. That's just like the enemy. That's exactly what the enemy does. You're doing good. You're sowing good. You're on the right track. Now here comes the enemy. He sows tares. Now tares represent weeds. Okay. He, he, he sows weeds where there is wheat. All right, stay with me. Stay with me. Glory to God. Amen. And went his way. So he did what he needed to do. The en enemy did what he needed to do, and he left. Listen to this. Verse 26. But when the blade was sprung up and, and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tears also. All right? Verse 27. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir... Doest thou so good seed in thy field? So in other words, he's asking a question. Wait a minute. Didn't you sow good seed in the field? From whence there had came tares. So now we see tares. But wait a minute. You sow good. You sow wheat. Wait a minute. So verse 28, he said unto them. Now this is Jesus. He said unto them, an enemy has done this. Mm. And the servant said unto him, will thou then that we go and gather them up? Verse 29, but he said, nay, in other words, no, lest while, least while ye gather up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. So in other words, he told them, don't just pull the tares. Don't just pull the weeds. He said, pull it all up. <laughs> he said, listen, he said, listen, you have to take up the wheat also. Come on. Verse 30. Let both them go grow together until the harvest. Somebody shout his harvest time. Mm -hmm. And in the time of the harvest, I will say to the reapers, gather ye together first the tares and bind them in bundles. So when you see the weeds, which is what chokes the wheat, it, it's what chokes your substance. He says, I want you to first grab that. Grab the tares and I want you to put them in bundles. All right. So when you see the tares among the wheat, I want you to take the tares out. And he says, I want you to I want you to bind them in bundles and burn them, destroy them. Amen. He says, but then gather the wheat into the barn. So in other words, take your substance, take what's good and put it in the barn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God says that the wheat and the tear are going to what grow together. Amen. And then there's going to be a separation. 
Hallelujah. And, and when there's a separation, God says, when you see the bad thing, which was the tares, which was the wheat, he says, I need you to gather that. Mm. Hallelujah. And when you gather it, I need you to burn it. I need you to destroy it because it's harvest time. Ha, ah, glory. God is saying, listen, he's saying the wheat, the substance, what he has given you, because it's harvest time, that has to stay by itself. What is God saying even in this revelation? You got the wheat and the tear. You have those that are doing evil, those that are doing bad, those that don't care nothing about God, those that are doing it their way, they're over here. Then you have, oh, y'all not talking back to the Holy Ghost tonight. Then you have those with wheat, those that are the wheat, those that are the substance, those that are trying to do the right thing, right? Woman of God, Shamika, those that are trying to do what God is saying to do, those that are trying to follow his word and be obedient to his word and be obedient to his will. That's the wheat. Come on. Hallelujah. That's those of us who are saying, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. That's those of us who are saying, God, let your will be done in my life. Hallelujah. That's those of us who are saying, I'm willing to die to my flesh. Hey, so that I can walk in the spirit. Glory to God. That's those of us who are saying, God, have your way in my life. Whatever it takes. Hallelujah. Well, whatever it takes, God. Hallelujah. Whatever I have to lose, I'm willing to lose it. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Because it's harvest time. Hey, hallelujah. But for those, amen, that are the tares. Come on, let's touch this real quick. Amen. Because somebody needs to repent because it's harvest time. Hallelujah. You can't be in dark and try to speak the things of the light. Uh-oh. Hallelujah. You can't be in darkness working witchcraft and working manipulation and feel as though that you could come on the side. Y'all not talking back to the Holy Ghost tonight. You could come on the side with the wheat and celebrate with us. The devil is a liar. Amen. Because harvest time means also celebration. Mm. <laughs> Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Harvest time means celebration. Hey, hallelujah. It's not over for you. Glory to God. Yes, you've been through some things, but you're still the wheat. You're still the substance. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're still carrying the bloodstained banner of Jesus Christ. You're still doing what he called you to do. It's harvest time. Hallelujah. God says, I'm doing the separating the higher to the old shot. Hallelujah. And, and so God says, even when you see those, you can pray for them. Listen to this. You, you can pray for them. Those who are in darkness. You can pray for those who have turned their back on God. But they're considered the tear. Come on. They're considered the tear. Come on. They are, <laughs> yes, Lord, I hear you. I'm going to say it to somebody, catch it. They are considered the tear. Come on. God says what? The wheat and the tear have grown together. Mm. Hallelujah. But God says, begin to separate. He says, and when you separate, put the weeds over there. God bless you um, on tonight, Bishop Charles. God bless you. He says, put the weeds over there. Hallelujah. And then the substance you keep over here. Hallelujah. Because what? It's harvest time. Hallelujah. See, see, when you have substance, you have to know what to do with the substance. Amen. That's just like having resources. You have to know what to do with the resources. Come on. Hallelujah. Where there's poverty and lack. Amen. That's the tears. You have no part of that. Come on, somebody. Where, where there's poverty, where there's lack, you know, where there's insufficiency. Come on. Hallelujah. You know, where, where, where there is, you know, you know, them, them type of people. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Those that ain't never got nothing, you know, they always complaining it. you know, you trying to say, listen, this is what I'm trying to do over here for God. And every time you say, this is what I'm trying to do for God. Here they come with their mess. Here they come with their negativity. Oh, it don't take all that. Oh, really? That's what you need. Oh, oh you know, they just so negative. That's the tear. But then you got the wheat. You got the substance. Hallelujah. And what did the Lord say to us early in the broadcast? He's going to send those who are willing to help, hallelujah, to get the kingdom assignment done. He's about to send those, so be encouraged, <laughs> hallelujah, because it's harvest time, hallelujah. I, I said it's harvest time. See, I know I lost some of y'all right there because you said, wait a minute, no, 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 no. I can't understand this word. See, this word is only for those, hallelujah, glory to God. They got some substance. Come on, this is only for those that have a real yes, Lord, in their spirit, mm. Hallelujah. This is only for those that are trying to please the master. Mm. Hallelujah. This is, this is, this message is for those, hallelujah, that know that harvest time is about to appear. 
You know you labored for this. Hallelujah. You know you suffered for this. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Romans 8 and 18. Let's turn there real quick. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Mm. Hallelujah. Romans 8 and 18. Let's, let's turn there real quick, real quick. Glory to God. Romans 8 and 18. Let's turn there real quick. Hallelujah. Romans 8 and 18. We're going to read 18 and 19. Hallelujah. It says, and this is the apostle Paul here. What does he say? He says, for I reckon that the suffering, somebody shout, I suffer for this. Come on. Somebody shout, I suffer for this. He says, I reckon that the sufferings of this present time, they are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. Somebody shout, it's harvest time. Hey, glory. The Bible says in verse 19, for the earnest expectation of the creature, it waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Somebody may say, what does this have to do with the wheat and tear? It has a lot to do with, do with it. Hallelujah. You caught the revelation, right? Glory to God. See, because you have suffered, hey, hallelujah, because you had to go through some things. Listen, God is not going to allow you to continue to suffer. There has to be a reaping season. There has to be a time that you are now reaping your harvest. Woo! Hallelujah. He says, listen, I reckon that word reckon means to recognize. He says, I recognize now and reckon also means acknowledge. He says, I recognize and I acknowledge that the sufferings of this present time, everything you had to go through had great purpose. Glory to God. Everything. And I'm talking to the wheat right here. Hallelujah. I'm talking to those of you that got purpose. Hallelujah. I'm talking to those of you that know is more to your life than what you see right now. My Lord. He says, I reckon, I acknowledge that the suffering that you had to go through right now at this present time. Can we, can we be real tonight? Can we be transparent Instagram and Facebook and, and those on our prayer line tonight? Can, can we just be real tonight? Some of you are still suffering. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. But you're about to reap your harvest. Mm. Glory to God. Can, can, we, can you just be real tonight? See, because when you be real and you be honest, that's when your breakthrough comes. Hallelujah. But if you keep saying, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm all right. I'm good. No, no. God is blessing me. I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm going to be okay. I, I, no, I'm all right right now. Hallelujah. Help might be right there in front of you. But instead of you saying, no, I, I'm on my way. Hallelujah. God made me a promise. Hallelujah. I am the wheat. Hallelujah. I am the substance. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I suffered for this. Hallelujah. There's an anointing on my life. Ha, ah, glory. Hallelujah. There's a kingdom assignment that I got to fulfill. Hallelujah. See, when you start talking like that, hey, glory. Hallelujah. There's somebody else that is a part of the wheat. Hallelujah. That's going to join with you. Hallelujah. See, the Bible says the wheat and the tear grow up. So it wasn't just one string of tear and one string of wheat. No, it was multiple. Come on, catch this revelation. It was multiple. Hallelujah. How do we know it was multiple? Because God says, he says, take all of it. He said, take it and put it in bundles. Woo, glory to God. He said, yes, you, you called it, right? He said, take it and put it in bundles. He says, now with the tears, once you bundle the tears up, I need you to burn it. I need you to destroy it. That's what I need you to do. I don't need you to keep looking at it. Hallelujah. He says, I need you to destroy it. Hey, hallelujah. He says, because harvest time is coming. He says, and I want you to take the wheat and I want you to put it in the barn. What does that represent? God said, put it where it needs to go. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not put it up for a rainy day. Hallelujah. But put it where it, ah, glory. Put it where it needs to go. Put it in its proper place. Glory to God. He says, listen, I need you to take the wheat. Ah, catch this revelation, church. Mm. He says, when you take the wheat, I need, this is what I need you to do. After you burn the tares though. See, see a lot of times, yes, Lord, I hear you. People do it backwards. They take their substance and they'll say, well, oh, this is what I got. This is what I got. Look at what I got. Hey, but they don't pay attention to the thing that can come and choke. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that's some revelation. They don't pay attention to the thing that can come and choke it. This is why God said, when you see the tears, what did he tell, what did he say first? He said, I need you to take them and gather them in bundles and burn them. God is a God of instruction. <laughs> He's a God of instruction. But what happens when you miss the instructions? Come on, you got to start all over. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you get another chance. 
Somebody shout, if I get another chance. Come on, that's for somebody tonight. Hallelujah. Because God's going to give you another chance. He says, follow his instruction this time. Do it the way that he told you to do it. Hallelujah. He said, listen, I need you to get rid of the negativity in your life. Glory. He says, I need you to get rid of the tears because they're getting ready to come and choke your harvest. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. He says, I need you to get rid of that. Come on, get rid of the thing that can choke the life out of you. Woo. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's too close to you anyway. Woo. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It is too close to you anyway, and it's trying to destroy you. But the moment you say, I see the tears, I see the negativity, I see the toxicity, I see the poison, I see the thing, glory to God, hallelujah, that can choke the very life out of my substance. I see it. I see it. And I got to do what God is saying to do. Hallelujah. We are in a time right now, church and people of God, we're in a time right now where you have to obey every kingdom command. Glory to God. I said uh, every kingdom command, every command that comes from God, we're in a time right now where you have to obey him. Either that is going to cost you your very life. This is the time that we are in and many people don't believe it. You know, there was a time where the old church mothers would say, Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. Jesus is coming back. <laughs> they would say the Lord is soon to return. Come on, and that was years ago, 30 years ago, 20 years ago. Some of you have been saved probably 40 years, and you've been hearing that, right? And you say, wait a minute. It seems like the Lord, the Lord is not coming back. It seems like times are getting worse, which they are. Come on. Times are bad. <laughs> Come on, and I can say that with a smile on my face. Hallelujah. Why can I say that? How can I say that with a smile on my face? Because God told us as we was crossing in from 2019 to 2020. What did he say here in this ministry? Some of you members was on the prayer line when the spirit of the Lord spoke it. God said, as long as you are willing and obedient. He says, if you are faithful, willing, and obedient, you should eat the good of the land. That's what he told us. That's exactly what he told us before COVID-19, hallelujah, before this pandemic, I call it a pandemic, amen, before the pandemic, hallelujah, God told us here in this ministry, he said, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land, that's what he told us, hallelujah, and that was a command from God, mm, hallelujah, hallelujah, he says, listen, glory to God, he said, listen, he said, if you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. And I can truly say here in this ministry, we have not wanted for anything. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Most of my members and covenant partners, listen, they don't want for anything. We are blessed to be a blessing. Listen to this. And I'm not saying that the boast to brag. Amen. But those who are obedient have more than enough. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Those that's right. That's right. Um, Bishop Charles. Amen. Those that those of us that are blessed, we have more than enough to bless somebody else. Come on. Hallelujah. Our cupboards are full. Hallelujah. We have not ran out of resources. Come on. Glory to God. Some of you can say I am truly blessed beyond measure. And that's because you are the wheat. You have been willing and obedient. Catch this word. Amen. And that's Isaiah uh, 1 verse 19 and 20. Amen. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 19 and 20. God gave us that. Hallelujah. And it's amazing because it's verse 19 and 20. We was crossing in from 2019 over into 2020. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It was right as soon as we were crossing over into, amen, the, the year of 2020. Glory to God. Some of you may remember that. Some listened and some didn't. But those who listen, you, you're not wanting for anything. Hallelujah. You have obeyed God and he has sustained you. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Let me read verse 20. Amen. Because here is the, the back part of it. <laughs> All right. So verse 19 says what? If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Verse 20 says, but if you refuse and rebel, listen to this. You shall be devoured with the sword. Uh-oh. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. See, we only want to hear the good part of the word. We don't, we don't want to hear the bad part. You know, we, we only want to hear about the blessings. We don't want to hear about the curses. 
You know, it's amazing how so many people have fashioned their mind. As soon as they hear something bad, they say, oh, no, that's not God. As, as soon as people hear something, oh, oh no, God, God didn't, God didn't say that. You know, no, 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 no. He healed Lazarus. Yes, he healed Lazarus. Glory to God. Yes, he did heal Lazarus. But why, why did Jesus heal Lazarus? It was to prove a point that he was the resurrection. Glory to God. Come on, somebody. Amen. So there were things that happened in the Bible. <laughs> if it had not been for the Lord showing up. Hey, glory. I'm trying not to yell, y'all. I'm trying not to preach. I'm trying to keep my voice down like this. I really am. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I feel like preaching tonight because somebody needs to know, hallelujah, that if you're disobedient, mm, there are some curses that will come upon you. But when you are obedient to God, he will bless you. Let's turn to Deuteronomy real quick. Come on, let's turn to the book of Deuteronomy. Mm -hmm. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let's turn to the word. I got I to gotta, I gotta help somebody tonight. Amen, I'm here to help you. That's all. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you. Glory to God. That's my assignment in the earth. Amen, I know what I'm called to do. Amen, I'm here to help God's leaders. I'm here to help the church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm not here just to prophesy. Amen. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, one thing I love about the Lord, listen to this revelation. Watch this right here. One thing I love about Jesus, you know, there were times, amen, that he went and he left the multitudes to talk to the father, right? To, he, to talk to his father. He left the masses. Listen to this. Catch this. This for somebody tonight. He left the masses to get the revelation that he needed for the people, right? I'm, I'm going to tie it all in. Listen to this, daughter Shanika. Jesus' life on the earth is our greatest example. And if you don't follow anything else, follow the life of Jesus. Come on. That doesn't mean that you are God in the flesh. That doesn't mean that you are God. Because Jesus is God in the flesh. We know that. But... We have to come out of this form of godliness and denying his power. Come on, as the church as a whole, we have to come out of this form. You know, well, if I say it like this, if I look like that, I did your shot. Because the Bible says that we shall know you by the fruit that you bear. <laughs> come on, hallelujah. So where is the fruit? Come on, because Jesus had fruit on his tree everywhere he went. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He fulfilled, amen, what the Father told him to do, right? Come on. Everywhere Jesus went, he performed miracles. Hallelujah. He opened up the blinded eyes. Hallelujah. He healed the sick. He raised the dead. Glory to God. And then he came back and he told, when I came back before he left, he told the disciples, he said, greater works than these you shall do. Hallelujah. Greater works than what I have done in the earth. He said, you shall do the same. Hallelujah. What is the Holy Spirit saying? Obey God. Amen. So that you can receive the blessings and not the curses. Let's turn to Deuteronomy 28 real quick. Deuteronomy 28. For those of you that feel like, you know, God wouldn't do that. You know, he, he's such a, yes, he is loving. Yes, he is compassionate, but he's a God of judgment also. Amen. This is why we have to be very careful how we carry ourselves. Amen. God is a God of judgment. Hallelujah. And he's watching his leaders. He's watching you. Hallelujah. He, he's watching how you handle his people. Oh, speak Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. He's watching even your delivery and how you deliver his message and how you deliver his word. Glory to God. Because we're in a time right now, if you're not preaching the truth, unadulterated word of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ, God is going to move you to the side and he's going to raise up somebody else because he is soon to return church. God is not playing. Come on. The Lord is not playing anymore. Hallelujah. Many of you are taking God for granted. Many of you are taking his word for granted. Many of you are taking his grace for granted. I know you haven't heard this. I know some of you get on Facebook lives and they tell you how wonderful you are. Hallelujah. But the truth of the matter is we're not wonderful. Nothing's wonderful about me. If God don't do it, it just won't be done. Hey, glory. Hallelujah. Woman of God, Shamika, if God don't do it, it just won't be done. If he doesn't do it through me, it won't happen. It just won't happen. Amen. But I'm yielded to him. Hallelujah. I'm a yielded vessel. 
Glory to God. Hallelujah. Ready to be used. Glory. Hallelujah. And this is why he uses me the way that he does. Glory to God. I give him praise. I give him glory and I give him all the honor. Amen. Christopher Lee says, I was just telling my cousin this. See, there's confirmation. There's confirmation. Amen. Daughter Shanika Johnson says, I am speechless, mom. Such confirmation of my time with the Lord. See, I can't make this stuff up, y'all. I can't make it up. So for those of you that say, there she go rambling again. There go prophet. See, you need to just, can I say it? You need to depart. You, you, just need to, you just need to depart. For those of you that keep your mouth on me and on the ministry, you, you just need to depart. But you're here, though. But you're here. <laughs> but but you are, you're here. I already know many of you don't like the ministry, but you're here. You just want to hear what I'm saying. Ah, you did the old shot. Because you think it's me talking. It's not me. It's not me. Many of you need to go back and repent. You need to go to God and repent. Here she go rambling again. Uh, I, I was good as long as she was talking, you know, what I needed to hear. But see, and that's the part that you needed to hear. The part that you didn't want to hear. <laughs> see, see, that's what we need. <laughs> the rebuke and the correction. <laughs> Let, let's turn to do the, I got to laugh in the Holy Ghost, y'all. I, I have to laugh because we want all the good stuff. Listen, we want, you know, we feel as though, you know, oh, God got to just give it to me like this. This is this is how I have to have it. God is not a genie. He's not moving. He's not moving to the beat of your drum. Selah. <laughs> we we, we going to pause right there for a minute and think about it. Selah. <laughs> That's what that means. Pause and think for a minute. Woo! I feel God moving. Mm, 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 mm. I feel him moving, y'all. You know, sometimes God got to give it to us just like this. Woo! Hallelujah. All right. Deuteronomy 28. Glory to God. <laughs> Woo! Hi, did the old shot. I hear you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. He says integrity and character. Woo. I just heard it in my spirit. I just heard it. I just heard it in my ear. He just said it. He said integrity and character. Mm. Those are his attributes. Do you have it? Do you have it? <laughs> integrity. I hear it again. I'm going to say it. Hey, hallelujah. Integrity and character. Do you have it? Have it. Somebody may say, what this got to do with the wheat and the tear? A lot. It has a lot to do with it. <laughs> Glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. She said it's going to come in a yellow box with a blue ribbon or it ain't from God. See her young. You, you prophesying to me, woman of God. I didn't, I didn't catch the first part. I'm not sure what she said. She says something's coming in a, in a box. See her young. God bless you, woman of God. I haven't seen you in a while. My God. She said it's got to come in a yellow box with a blue ribbon. Okay. Whew. Yes. Integrity and character. We're going to read Deuteronomy 28. No, ma'am, I was agree. Okay, amen. <laughs> amen. Oh, you were saying that that's what people say. It got to be a certain way. I got you. 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 That's right. I got you. <laughs> she laughing. I got you, woman of God. Amen. I thought you were saying something, meaning like something was going to come. You know, you know, prophets, we, we see and hear, you know, I just saw the box as you said it. So, you know, I don't know what God's getting ready to do. But we're going to leave that alone. See, when prophets join together, <laughs> something happens. Something happens. All right. All right. Lord, take that vision from me now. Take it from me, God. Okay. Deuteronomy 28. This speaks of the blessings and the curses. You laughing at me, Brother Christopher Lee? That's all right. <laughs> Amen. I can't laugh because if I do, I'm going to get sleepy. If I do, I'm going to get sleepy. My members know that. 
Amen. So I got to bring it on in real quick. <laughs> Somebody pray for me. All right. It's 1235. Okay, y'all give me five more minutes and so we're going to bring it home, okay? Somebody shout, I'm the wheat. Come on, somebody shout, it's harvest time. Come on, somebody shout, I'm the wheat and it's harvest time. Come on, come on. I want you to shout that in your atmosphere. You're not the tear. Come on, you're not the tear. You, did you know that, Sister Carla? If I start laughing, I get sleepy. I get real sleepy. If I'm ministering, I start laughing. Oh, I get tired. And it's like the anointing just lift. <laughs> so I got to be real careful. <laughs> All right, let's stay right here, y'all. They're trying to make me laugh. That's right. That's right. We are the wheat and it's harvest time. Come on. All right. Deuteronomy 28. I'm not going to read all of it, but I'm going to break it down real quick. So the beginning from starting at verse 1. That's right, Alicia. That's right. You are the wheat. It's harvest time. And those on our prayer line, too, I want you to say it in your atmosphere. Amen. Those on the call tonight. Let's see how many callers we got. Okay, we got 12 callers on the line tonight. Amen. Amen. We thank God for the 12 souls on the line. Amen. Glory to God. All right, Deuteronomy 28. For those of you that don't believe, there are blessings and curses, okay? But there's something that we must do to receive the blessings. Listen to this real quick. All right, Deuteronomy 28 and starting at verse 1. And it shall come to pass that if thou shalt hearken diligently to the voice of the Lord thy God. Hearken means to compel to, to run to. Amen. So if thou shalt run to, if thou shalt hearken, thou shalt hear diligently the voice of the Lord thy God to obey and to do all of his commands. Somebody shout all, which I have commanded thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth. That's a promise. Somebody shout that's a promise. In verse 2. And all of these blessings, somebody shout blessings. Come on, y'all follow me tonight. All of these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Verse 3, blessed shalt thou be in the city. Uh-huh. And blessed shalt thou be in the field. Blessed shalt thou be the fruit of thy body. That's good right there. And the fruit of thy ground and the fruit of thy cattle and the increase of thy kind, thy, thy kin, I'm sorry, and the flocks of thy sheep. Somebody shout blessed, blessed, blessed. Blessed shall thy basket be and thy store. Mm -hmm. Blessed shalt thou be when thou goes in and blessed thou shalt be when thou goes out. Amen. So when you come in, you're blessed. When you go out, you are blessed. Amen. Verse seven, and the Lord shall cause thine enemies. See, this is when you are blessed. Listen to what happens. The Lord shall call thy enemy, cause thy enemies to rise up against thee, to be smitten before thy face. Somebody shout is going to happen. And thy shall, and they shall come against thee one way, but flee before thee seven ways. That's for those of you who are following God. You are obeying God. And the Lord is telling you even on tonight that your enemies may come one way, but they're going to scatter. How many ways? Seven. They're going to scatter seven ways. Let's go down to verse 13. All right. And the Lord shall make thee thy head, the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only and thou shalt not be beneath. If thou shalt hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God which thou commands thee this day to observe and to do them. All right. That's what happens when we hear the word of God. We obey the word of God. We follow his commands. We do exactly what he tells us to do. We shall be blessed. All right. Now let's go down to 15. Glory to God. 15 says what? But if that, but it, I'm sorry, but it shall come to pass that if, Thou shalt hearken not, uh-oh, unto the voice of the Lord. So that means you hear his voice, but you don't hearken. You don't run to it. You don't obey it. Listen to this. And to observe to do all of his commands and his statutes, mm -hmm, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee mm, and overtake thee. Somebody shout, this is the word of God. Somebody shout, this is the word of God. Uh-oh, it gets deeper. Curse shall thou be in the city. Uh-oh. Curse shall thou be in the field. Uh-oh. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Curse shall be the fruit of thy body mm. and the fruit of thy land mm. and the increase of thy kin mm. 
and the flocks of thy sheep. That's your offspring. So when you disobey God, listen to this. For those of you that don't believe it, for those of you that think, oh, no, God wouldn't do that. He's such a loving and compassionate God. You know, God would, you know, no, he, he wouldn't do that. You know, and God bless Brother Joel, Joel Osteen. I love his ministry, but he always got a story to tell. He's never telling those people that are sitting in his congregation that they're on their way to hell if they continue to sin. I'm just saying. I'm just saying to us pastors who water down the word of God, we should never do that. Come on, we should never appease the people to the point to tell them, you're so wonderful. Oh, God would never chastise you. But the Bible clearly says he chastises those whom he loves. Come on, he rebukes. Hallelujah. He sends the prophet to rebuke. Glory to God. He sends the apostle, hallelujah, to pluck up that which was planted that was wrong. Come on. And, and then he, y'all not talking back to the Holy Ghost tonight. There are things that God does. And he sends his vessels to do it. Come on. Let's continue to read here. Hallelujah. Verse 20. Let's skip down to 20. And the Lord shall send upon thee curses and vexations and rebuke. Uh-oh. And in all that thou settest thine hands to do, unto thou be destroyed, my Lord. And unto thou perish quickly. Hear this. Because of the wickedness of thy doings. Hereby thou hast forsaken me. God says when we disobey him, we have forsaken him. Listen to this word. Listen. I know it's late. Just listen real quick. Come on, listen. Mm, 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 mm. Verse 21. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee. Cleave means to latch itself to you. The Lord shall make pestilence attach itself to you until he has consumed thee from off the land. Somebody shout, I'm the tear and I'm going to keep obeying God. I'm sorry, I'm the wheat <laughs> and I'm going to keep obeying God. Somebody shout, I'm not the tear, but I'm the wheat and I have to continue to obey God. Come on. Because see, the tear are the disobedient. Come on. And the wheat are the obedient. Mm, mm, mm. I don't even know if I should keep reading this. Because <laughs> this right here, listen, if you don't have a fear of God, you, you should have it. You, you should have it. Whew, hallelujah. I say often, I, I, I always say this. I don't understand how a believer can be cursed. I don't understand how a true child of God can be cursed. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Because you have the word of God. You have the word of God. Hallelujah. You have a leader teaching you the word. Glory to God. You have somebody reading the word to you. Glory to God. You have somebody praying for you and watching over your soul for those of you that have leaders. So how can you continue in sin that grace would abound? God says, I forbid you to do that. Hallelujah. He says, don't continue to sin, believing that my grace is sufficient and my grace is going to continue to cover you, says the Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We have to walk in obedience to God to receive his blessings. Mm, 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 mm. I know this doctrine is not, it's not popular. This word is not popular. But you know what? God ain't looking for a popular ministry. He's not looking for popular church. Quote, unquote. Come on. Hallelujah. That's right. I'm the wheat and not the tear. Hallelujah. Harvest time is coming and it's right now. Glory to God. The blessings of the Lord shall overtake those of you that are the weak. Hallelujah. Harvest time is here right now. Glory to God. What does weak mean? Weak means substance. And what does the tear mean? Tear are the weeds. Glory to God. There's also a passage of scripture. I believe it's in Matthew chapter 13. Let's turn there real quick. And it talks about the four types of soil. Glory to God. The four types of soil. Amen. I've done teachings on this many of times, but we're going to turn to it real quick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It talks about the four types of soil and that soil represents your heart. Amen. Viola says this word is real good for me. I am the wheat. Come on. 
Hallelujah. Yes, yes, you are the substance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. 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 Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Amen. Let's turn to Matthew chapter 13. I believe it's 13 real quick. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Here it is. All right. Let me read in your hearing about the four types of soil. Some of you may not know this, but it's, it's good for you to know. Right. So in verse one, I'm at Matthew 13, verse one. And the same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside. Verse two. Mm -hmm. And a great multitude were gathered together with him unto him so that he went into the ship and sat. The whole multitude stood upon the shore. Verse three. And he spoke many things unto them in parables, saying, what did Jesus say? He said, behold, a sower went forth to sow. But when he had sowed, some fell upon the wayside, and the fowls, which are the birds, came and devoured them up. Verse 5, some fell upon stony places where there was not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up. Because they had no deepness of earth. I'm going to break it down in just a minute. Verse 6. And when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered away. Verse 7. And some fell upon thorns. And the thorns sprung up and choked them. Verse 8. But others fell on good ground. And brought forth fruit. Some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. That sounds like harvest to me. <laughs> Glory to God. I said that sounds like harvest to me. So you have the four types of soil. You caught that, Evander Arlene? You have the four types of soil, right? So the first type of soil was what? In verse 4, it says this type of soil is the soil that everybody stepped upon. How do we know it was trampled on? He said, this is the soil that was by the wayside. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And it said, listen, it said that the fowls came and devoured the seed. So that's just like sowing a seed on a flat surface. You plant a seed, right, onto a flat surface. It has no ground. It has no dirt. It has no deepness to it. So what happens is the birds come, swoop it, and just take the seed, right? So you got verse 5. Here's the second type of soil. This fell upon stony places. So this soil had rocks in it. Come on. And these are the four types of soil of our heart also. Amen. This represents the ground. This represents the earth. But it also represents our heart. Right? Listen to this. So the second type of soil is the stony soil. Mm -hmm. This has a lot of rocks in it. Glory to God. But, but it's so stony to the point to where it's no dirt. It has no deepness of the earth. That's what it says, right? Then you have the third type of soil that when the sun is up, it scorches it. Now it scorches the seed. And because there's no root, it withers away, all right? And this is where the thorns come and choke that seed, amen? It chokes it up to the point to where now it has no, no more substance, no more life, right? Amen. It says some fell upon thorns and the thorns had sprung up and choked it. Glory to God. See, now this is the third type of soil. And we definitely don't want our heart to be like that. Amen. But then you have the good ground. Amen. You have the good soil. Hallelujah. You have the heart that's receptive. Amen. You have the heart that's saying, okay, God, here I am. I yield myself to you. Right? Glory to God. Listen, this is the type of soil that brings forth what is called a harvest. The Bible says it gives some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. So that's harvest. Hallelujah. It's producing something, right? Glory to God. See, see, our heart, hallelujah. Yes, God, I hear you. Our heart cannot be the type of heart where it's been trampled on. Everybody has walked on it. Come on, somebody. You know, you've gone through so much to where there's no deepness. Nothing can come in and nothing can go out, right? And then you have the stony place, the stony heart. Amen. What did God say about the stony heart? He said, I remove the stony heart and give you a heart of flesh. He said, I'll give you a heart that will beat again. Ha, ah, Chloe. But you got to let me heal you, says the Lord. Hallelujah. And then you have the heart, what? Amen. Glory to God. <clears throat> that has the thorns around it. 
Speak Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You have the, you have the, the and we talked about the tears. The tears and the thorns represent the same thing because this has the ability, Sister Courtney, amen, to take life out of you. Glory to God. It has the ability to choke everything. Hallelujah. Every form of substance that's in you. Glory to God. This is the third type of soil. Hallelujah. It has a whole lot of thorns in it. Glory to God. And then you have the fourth type, which is what we all need. Amen. So if you are the wheat, then guess what? You got substance. And if you got substance, then you about to reap a hundredfold. You about to reap sixtyfold. You about to reap thirtyfold. You about to reap something. Glory to God. And it's coming straight from the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Somebody show I'm the wheat. Come on. Somebody show I'm the wheat and it's harvest time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hear the spirit of the Lord saying many of you don't go back. Hey, hallelujah. The Lord says for me to tell you, don't go back. Don't go back to your old ways. Don't go back to your old way of thinking. Don't go back to anything that's old. Hallelujah. Because God says he wants to do a new thing in you. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says he wants to do a new thing in you, Sister Chandra. He wants to do a new thing in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said in the book of Isaiah, he says, behold, I will do a new thing. Hallelujah. He says, now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? He says, I'll make a way in the wilderness and I'll make a river in your desert. Mm, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is saying, even in that, Hallelujah. He says, as I'm creating something new and something new is springing up in your life. Hallelujah. A new harvest. Glory to God. A new joy, a new peace. Hallelujah. He says, you must forget the old thing. Hallelujah. He says, remember ye not. Hallelujah. The former things. He says, neither consider the things of old. He says, behold. Hallelujah. And that word behold means see. Glory to God. See, I'm about to do something new in you. Hallelujah. See what I'm about to perform. He says, see, the harvest shall come quickly. Mm. Glory. Hallelujah. He says, what I'm about to do for you cannot be reversed. He says, what I'm about to perform in your life. He says, no man can take it. Hallelujah. He says, because this is your season of harvest. This is your substance, says the Lord. Hallelujah. All because you chose to hold on. Hallelujah. And remain as the wheat. Hallelujah. When you could have did the wrong thing, I hear the Lord saying, many of you did the right thing. And because you did the right thing, God's going to honor you. He's going to favor you. Glory. Hallelujah. Because you let go of the old, because you let go of the old mindset. You didn't do it your way you, this time, Sister Carla. Hallelujah. You did it God's way. Hallelujah. And because you did it God's way, he's about to favor you. Mm. Glory. Hallelujah. Somebody shout favor and harvest go hand in hand. Woo. Hallelujah. Somebody shout my favor and my harvest go hand in hand. It's about to collide. <laughs> Hallelujah. Favor and my harvest is about to collide, y'all. Glory. Hallelujah. God's get oh, you did your shy. Yes, Lord, I hear you. He's about to do something major in your life. Glory. Hallelujah. Something that you've been waiting for. Glory to God is about to appear in your life. I prophesy new beginnings now. I speak a new beginning into your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The old is over. The old mindset is over. Hallelujah. God says, I am renewing your mind even now. Hallelujah. I'm changing your thoughts even now. He says, I'm doing a new thing in your heart. Hallelujah. And I'm doing a new thing in your spirit. Woo. Glory. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. Come on, somebody shout, yes, Lord. Mm. Come on, somebody shout, yes, Lord. Somebody shout, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody shout it real loud in your atmosphere. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We bless God tonight. Hallelujah. I'm trying to keep it down, y'all. Trying to keep my house as quiet as possible. Glory. Hallelujah. But right now, I can shout higher than the old shot. Hallelujah. I can shout unto the Lord. Mm. Glory. Hallelujah. Because every time I minister about the wheat and the tear, every time the Lord gives me this about being obedient and disobedient, hallelujah, it does something to my spirit. Hallelujah. Because we got to understand church. Hallelujah. We got to understand that God is always moving. Hallelujah. Listen, hallelujah. The Bible says he never sleeps nor slumbers. Y'all hear my little dog? Listen, he never sleeps nor slumbers. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God 
God is always moving. Glory. Hallelujah. Listen, you might stop movement. I might stop movement, but God never stops moving. Mm. He's always moving. He's always speaking. Glory to God. He's always encouraging. Hallelujah. He's always pushing us. Glory to God by his spirit. Hallelujah. Telling you, my son, you can go on. My daughter, you can go on. Hallelujah. It's no reason. Hallelujah. Why you should stay stuck and stagnated. Hallelujah. When I've done too much for you, says God. Hallelujah. When I've invested too much inside of you. Hallelujah. How? Can you forget my word? now. He says, how can you forget my promise now? He says, how can you forget what I told you I was going to perform in your life? Hallelujah. He says, don't forget it, but remember it. Ha, ah, Chloe. He says, don't forget it, but remember it. Somebody shout, I remember the promise. Somebody shout, I remember the promise. I remember the prophecy. Hey, Glory to God. Somebody shout, I remember the prophecy. Hey, hallelujah, because the prophecy is the promise. Woo, we shifting right here. Hallelujah, because as God is reminding you, you are the wheat. Hallelujah, and not the tear. Glory to God, and your harvest is soon to appear. What God is saying, even in that, he said, get ready. Ha, huh, glory. He says, expect the unexpected. Glory to God. He says, yes, I told you what I'm going to do. He said, but when I do it, hallelujah, it's going to be unexpectedly. In other words, it's just going to appear. Hallelujah. It's just going to appear. Glory to God. You can rest assured and you can take this word to the bank, church. Hallelujah. Truly, the Lord is speaking unto us. Hallelujah. Let your spirit be encouraged tonight. Hallelujah. That's right. Remember the prophecy and the promise. Hey, because the prophecy is the promise. Mm. It is the promise. <laughs> and many of you have a promise. Many of you have a prophecy that you're waiting to come to pass. Amen. Remain the wheat. Hallelujah. And do what's needed with the tear. <laughs> Amen. As God has commanded us to grab it. Bundle it up and burn it. Amen. Destroy it at the root. It has no place in your life. Glory to God. Somebody shout, I am the wheat. <laughs> Hallelujah. And my harvest is now. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sister Alicia says, I feel like going on. Mm. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. I had a long day tonight. Hallelujah. I had a long day today, rather. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So we're going to bring it on in tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to exit the broadcast with a praise. We're going to give God glory. Hallelujah. That we are the wheat. Hallelujah. And not the tear. Glory to God. Not that we're better than anyone. But guess what? You suffer for this. Hallelujah. You're living your life to live again. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen, you are living your life to live again. Amen. Don't let nobody pull you back to the ways of sin. I hear this word for somebody. Don't let nobody pull you back to the way of sin. Don't, don't let nobody pull you back when God has pulled you out. Come on here. When God has delivered you, healed you, and set you free, you got to stay the weak. <laughs> you have to remain the substance. Amen. And your harvest shall come quickly in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Father, we thank you for your word tonight. Hallelujah. Father God, we just glorify you right now, God, with hands lifted in your presence, Lord. We say thank you. Oh, God, we just bless your name tonight, God. We glorify you, Lord. We praise you, oh, God. And we just say thank you for the moving of your spirit, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for reminding us that we are the weak, oh, God. Mm. And we are to remain obedient to you. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you even now that the wheat and the tares shall grow together. But, God, you will do the separating. Mm. Hallelujah. And God, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. This word tonight that has blessed your people, that has edified your people. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for it now. We thank you that it has accomplished what you have sent out to do in the name of Jesus. This word right now, God, it has gone forth mm, and changed the lives of your people. So for that, we give you glory. We give you honor and we give your name to praise, Father. We glorify you now and we say thank you. We say thank you, Lord God, for all that you are. And all that you are doing in our lives, Father. We cannot praise you enough, oh God. But we're going to give you the fruit of our lips on this morning. We're going to thank you right now just for who you are, God. And what you have done on tonight. 
We thank you and we praise you now for those that were ready to give up, oh God. They're going to tie a knot and hold on to their faith. Mm. They're going to believe you by faith for the promise in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you that the promise shall come to pass suddenly in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you for doing it now. We praise you for doing it now, God, and we glorify you. And it's in Jesus' mighty name we do pray. Amen and amen. If you believe in that prayer, if you touch and agree with me tonight, shout amen in your atmosphere. We're getting ready to exit. Amen. Glory to God. As I've already stated, amen. I had a long day. Amen. We had a powerful service on yesterday. If you missed it, you can look at the broadcast. It is on my timeline. Amen. It was awesome from the beginning to the very end. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank God for him. The moving of his spirit in our service on yesterday. Glory to God. The word that was spoken, amen, is walk in the spirit so that you do not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. Powerful message. Powerful message. Amen. So go ahead and tune in if you have not heard it. Amen. If you need to go back and watch the replay, go back and watch the replay. Amen. Let God encourage your spirit tonight. Amen. If you're still up and you can't sleep, <laughs> amen, continue to meditate upon this word. All right. Amen. Continue to meditate upon what the spirit of the Lord has spoken on tonight. Glory to God. Amen. And God bless each and every one of you. We're going to conclude on our prayer line as we often do, as we always do rather. Um, the number to dial is 712-775-7031. Uh, once again, the number to dial in right now is 712-775-7031. The access code is 222-953-820 pound. Amen. Sonia says, thanks so much for the word. You are very welcome. Amen. And before we exit the broadcast, Amen. I want to give those, amen, the opportunity to sow a seed into our ministry. Um, those of you that desire to, there's no obligation. Amen. But I'm talking to the sowers tonight. Amen. I'm talking to those of you that have seed to sow. Amen. I'm talking to those of you, amen, that don't mind blessing the kingdom of God. Amen. I'm talking to those of you, glory to God, amen, that love to sow seed, amen, that love to give back to God, amen. She says, when this pandemic is over and the funds are available, I'm coming to the service you are holding. Amen, Seer Young, glory to God. Well, you can come at any time, woman of God, amen. Our service is still open. Uh, we do obey the CDC um, guidelines, amen, in our ministry. We thank God for our edifice, amen, but you are more than welcome to join us. All right. The address to our um, church is 3670 Baston Lane, Raleigh, North Carolina, 27604. Amen. That is our church location. If you type in the Ezra Center, it would take you right to our place of worship. And to God be the glory. Um, we have three ways that you can sow it into our ministry. Amen. Uh, prayerfully, one of the members can post it for me, please, so that I can pin it. Amen. We do have three ways that you can sow a seed into our ministry. I believe that there's three of you on the broadcast tonight. Amen. I just heard the number three. The Lord says three of you can sow. Amen. Into our ministry tonight. Amen. We're not begging for anything. Amen. The Lord has a blessing with your name on it. Glory to God. And there are times, amen, that you sow. Hallelujah. There are times that you bless. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So that you can receive a harvest. Glory to God. She says, I'm only nine hours. You're only nine hours from me here in Florida. Amen. Amen, woman of God. However you get here, get here. <laughs> Hallelujah. However you get here, get here. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Sister Sequita. Amen. Um, someone has posted the information. I appreciate it. Amen. There are the three ways that you can sow. We thank God for our Sister Sequita tonight. Amen. Um, the three ways that you can sow. Amen. I just heard three again. I don't know what it is about that three. Amen. I believe it's three of you that can sow tonight. Amen. Um, and we have 45 viewers. Wow. <laughs> Amen. Then that means <laughs> many of you probably won't sow a seed tonight. Glory to God. But the Lord says there are three of you. Amen. In other words, you it's not that you won't sow. It's just not in your mind to sow. That's what that means. It's not, it's not even, it's not even in your mind to sow. Amen. But the Lord said it's three of you out of 45. Wow. <laughs> so that means there are three of you that have a mindset. Glory to God to bless the kingdom of God. Wow. Out of 45. That's something. Amen. Glory to God. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. There are the three ways you can sow. We have a PayPal account. 
for our ministry is paypal.me slash prophetic impact. Then we also have a cash app. The cash app is PIPW ministry. Amen. And then we have a ministry website. I ask that you go to our website and just browse the website. Amen. We have beautiful products on our website. The ministry's website is www.propheticimpact1000.com. All right. Um, some of you may say, what do I name my seed tonight? Name your seed harvest. Amen. Name your seed harvest. Hallelujah. For those that are going to sow tonight, name your seed harvest and watch what God performs in your life. Hallelujah. Watch the sudden harvest that springs up. Glory to God in your life. Glory. Hallelujah. We thank God tonight. Amen. So get your seed in the ground. Those of you that are about to sow. Amen. We're getting ready to exit social media. So we will pray over your seed in the closing prayer on our prayer line. Amen. And to God be all of the glory. Once again, thank you all for joining Prophetic Impact Prayer and Word Ministry. Amen. I am Pastor Prophetess Carmen Haywood signing off tonight. Amen. And I thank God for each and every one of you taking the time to join. We're going to exit on um, Instagram Live first, and then we're going to exit on Facebook. God bless you all tonight and shalom. Amen. We have successfully logged off of Instagram. All right. Blessings to you all on Facebook. Take the time to share. If you have not shared this broadcast, um, hit that share button. All right. Anytime you join, click that share button, if you will. Amen. And be a blessing to someone else. All right. God bless you all. Have a wonderful night. Get your seed in the ground and name your seed harvest. To God be the glory. Have a wonderful night. Shalom.